What's the matter with you? Alright, hey, it's Tim. Uh, back for another video practice attempt. I can't go live yet. Uh, you can't go live until you have 50 subscribers. So I have to work on that. Um, I'm going to play some KI2 today. Loving some KI2. What's the matter with you? I wasn't even on extra. I wasn't even on extra hard last time. Let's do medium so I can do some cool stuff. Uh, what should I do today? Eh, give me some tusk. the slow enders of course. Every slow ender gives you one bar of super meter, which then you can unleash on your opponent. In the form of super moves. Keep me up. Of course, when I want her to block it, she doesn't block it. In the original Killer Instinct, uh, in a competitive match, it's very beneficial to block and just turtle and lay back. Um, they, they tried to work on that in KI2 with the super meter. Um, Tusk doesn't have a good pressure move to show this off. His pressure move knocks down. But anytime you do a, a move and the opponent blocks it, you gain super meter, which is good for you, and then you can then do a super move. So you can just throw a super linker into your combo, and the super linker is unblockable. Lots of damage. Not to mention the Super Ender. The Super Ender does 40% on its own. Uh, the damage is scaled down if you're in the combo. Agreed. I forgot what Enders I did and everything. Let's do uh, an ultimate combo, let's see. Ah. I hate that that move ends the round if you, if you take all their health away. It won't, it doesn't open a combo if they die. So like a wing kick or something, if that kills them, you can still do a combo with it, I think. So back kick. Mr. Block your face. Mr. Wolf, Mr. Block your face. There's the first four enders. I used to do that to taunt my opponent back in the arcades. It gives them meter, but Super Wolf's already full before I did that, so it didn't even matter. Oh, get off me!
Yeah. I had to parry and I punched him by accident. Ugh. Cyberwolf is super annoying. Super moves in KI2, and I don't understand why. They're, I mean, they're, just, they're available for you, just, just use them. Cinder is always, is always a super easy. Once he does his puddle, you can just counter it. behind Ender in the slow mo version is hard to pull off for me anyway. Lose here. I'm always lost trying to do combos and stuff. Tusk is Tusk's inputs for his high um, high hit ultras are super picky. His super blinkers um, drop the combo extra early. You gotta get the timing on the auto level just right. So like he's blocking, I'm doing a jump kick, crouching fierce kick, and then a double sword. And you might think, well, I'm just doing tick damage. What's, what's the point of that? Well, my super mute is full. I could like, I could do like an 80, like a, maybe not 80, but 60% combo, like super easy right now. If I don't, if I don't mess it up. <laughs> Get me on the scoreboard. Stop blocking my stuff. God. Starts with a special move. At least I think he does.
computer is super blocky right now. Usually on this difficulty, I can get some openers going. Dinosaur didn't have a shadow behind him. He should have had a shadow. It's a shadow combo. Lose. That's kind of sad. I was playing terrible. Let's see. This is a pretty good damage combo right here. input reading on what is this medium medium difficulty super weird um it, it's got really strange properties um it's gonna drop like every time from orchids being a huge pain getting close see i'm so far away i can't get close i guess i need to do the pressure loop first and then the super auto manuals i didn't didn't expect to get that far along.
actually can never remember her ultimates and stuff. Um, <laughs> of course that hits her. Of course, of course it does. I think it's a medium hit. Uh, at least the shrinking one's a medium hit. I think. Leave it on extra hard by accident. May have. No, I don't think so. He lives. All right. What? How does that knock him down? Someone tell me that. Kick. I was wrong. Back forward medium kick. Quarter circle forward back medium kick. Ah, it's quick punch. Quarter circle forward back quick punch. That one. There we go. It's a weird move. Gets me moving. Basically, can be super predictable with the long distance punch. You can just counter it every time. I wasn't talking that good.
Look at that, like 60% damage. 50% damage. If I can build up some meter. Get a closer. Give me an overhead. He's gonna kill me if I don't just finish the match. Super Ender. They do a big damage combo with her. Spinal is going to be a little difficult. He won't do an overhead on me, I don't think. Spinal will let you jump kick him and then do your pressure move and then do your, your version of that and the rock, paper, scissors. So Jago's wing kick or whatever. And that move will hit him. And you can do an auto double. He might break it. Like he tries to slide every single time. So. I'm going to run my meter. Oh, there's the elephant. I do remember it. I just... I think about it. It doesn't come to me, but... It's, it's baked into my brain somewhere back in there. That anti air should have hit her. Alright, it's, it's, it's time to get serious. Finish this. You don't like losing. Toss my hubby. Getting greedy with my combos there.
Let's four hit ender. Let's get the fifth ender. Might lose. <laughs> and I lost. Well, that was fun. Let's look at my high score stuff that I missed before. Uh, Maya 52. I could do a I could do like a 53 hit 53 damage combo real quick. Push that down. Just building a meter with slow enders and getting hit and of course you do the super ender I want to get her there we go there we go that up. Stop trying to, like, this is the first character, like, what's going on? A lot of times with Saber Wolf, I don't even try stuff. I just kill him because he's so annoying. He blocks everything. And he just does opener after opener after opener over and over and over. And he'll just chip you 100% of your damage. Just chip it all away like without stopping. I don't think you can do a back forward quick punch ender slow. Because it, the, it tries to do the fifth ender instead of the, that one. Something else I can try. I'll give it a, give it a shot. Okay, a slow fourth ender. Here we go. And I get burned. Let's, let's do damage. Let's do damage. Second character, what is going on right now? Did I leave it on extra hard? <laughs> Alright, I'm just, I'm just going to see what difficulty I left it on. Medium. That's kind of crazy. I'm going to stick with medium, yeah. They're like bugged into extra hard mode or something. See, now she's standing there letting me do whatever. Okay, that was not a slow third ender. Yeah, 
yeah, it doesn't come out slower, it just comes out right there. Now, if she'll block a couple pressure moves, I can build up some meter, but she's just standing there right now, so it's not going to happen. I've always done that instead of the uh, instead of the super ender. Well, the super ender, the fierce kick ender, and the ultra are all on the back. All have a back full fierce kick inside them, so uh, it's easy to have the wrong one come out. It's always happened to me. too much damage to him already. Let's see. <sighs> That's not Man, I screwed that up bad. I wouldn't even try this with anyone else, but let's say we'll throw the block so much. I get a second attempt at at least at least an ultra because if you block so much I can fill up my meter. See look at that crap. Still love KF2 the best though. KF2 is still the best. cheap. Big damage combo incoming. Do a puddle punch. Do a puddle punch.
ain't gonna win, let alone do a big damage combo. That's not very good. Eat a slow ultra. Or slow ender, whatever. Alright, one more try at a uh, high damage combo and then I'll call it quits. Input reading again on medium difficulty. What is going on? More input reading junk. And I've already I forgot to do my damage. Let me just practice the, the parry opener. What what is going on? Getting TJ is the best. I did the pressure move, and it came out. All right, I can't forget to do. Oh, Kim is never gonna let me do a damage combo. She's gonna break every combo I do. Look at that, look at, look at what she's doing, I mean. So annoying, just do, a, just do an overhead. damage qualified. I thought I uh, needed 63 or something like that. Let's see what we got. Tuss, that was earlier. Yeah, we need to work on him a lot.
52, not 60. Okay. Yeah. I could do one more 53 hit super fast and then clear it off the board completely. 53 hit damage. Hit combo. I swear this is playing way harder than medium. What's going on right now? Alright, need to watch his damage, his health. I can do around there. I need to bring it down a little more. So I don't mess it up. Alright. And he's gonna do a super ender on me. Watch. Super ender. And if he blocks everything, I'm gonna chip him down below, below 53%. And I can't even do it anymore. So, God, get away from me. I just did a super ender, I heard the sound, but he knocked me out of it. Crazy. Screw that. Eat, eat that. She's standing in like a like a test dummy now. Which is fine, I guess. Alright, how much damage is this? Uh, so I'm at 70, 30, 70. Stop, stop anti-airing me. Joystick is in pretty rough shape. I play pretty competitively. Maybe I ought to switch back to the player two side. I'll try player two next time. Alright, mate, just stand there and let me hit you. Why, why? Alright, it's about 20, it's 25, 75. Getting her to do an overhead is pretty tricky. She likes to do that low. Why doesn't that come out? I think I'll call it quits here. I could always try again um, on an easier difficulty and try to play a two side and whatnot. But I'm just experimenting with the camera and the camera position and all that stuff. I can't even go live yet on YouTube. So, see you guys next time.